Hey, hello once again, fellow flight simmers. Um, just a quick follow-up video now, since I was already uh, recording those other videos about uh, using LCD displays, and I got a hold of some uh, 16 by 4 and 20 by 4 displays, um, and I remember somebody had asked me about how to configure the Zeebo 737 uh, electrical panel uh, on one of these displays. So I thought before I take apart all this wiring and everything to record my other videos that I'm planning on recording, it would be a great idea to show that. But um, so I got the setup right here um, that I, you know, the same setup that I worked with last time. Uh, but the only thing I did was I replaced the 16 by 2 with this 16 by 4 display right here. And uh, the beauty of this is that, you know, like right now, if I go to the simulator and, you know, I just hit uh, reload config right now. And then we go back to the camera here. You can see that the, the things that I already had programmed for the 16 by 2 they came out exactly perfect on this one too. So it doesn't even matter that you change the displays. The only thing I did notice is if we look at the website and we go to the LCD uh, area here, we can see that the 20 by four is not actually mentioned that it's supported. Um, it has the same pinouts as the other ones, but it just doesn't even say that it supports it. I did get it to work with a Zeebo 737 electrical panel, uh, but the, the spacing and the the way I had to put the, the numbers for the spacing and the position, it wasn't exactly the way it should have been, but I did get it to work anyway. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and um, um, actually go back to the configurator now because we're gonna be working with this. And we're gonna basically uh, edit the same configuration file that I had for the nav and com one and we're gonna just uh, go ahead and deal with that one so we'll just remove the whole entire display here and then we'll just put it again and this is a 16 by 4 so it's this one right there so we just confirm it and now we're gonna go to the we'll go to the planes area over here on the configurator and we're gonna go to the Zeebo 737 and we want the electrical panel. So let me see if I remember correctly here. So we're gonna go ahead and start on the upper left. So we'll do the DC amps indicator on a character LCD on pin number five, new entry. And we're gonna put that on the very top line, which is zero. And we're gonna put it on the very left position, which is zero. And we'll put done. Then we're going to put this one here. So now if you can imagine, you know, this is uh, the positions are 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 15. So I'm assuming that let's say we want this one like on position number 12. So we'll go ahead and put it there. Character LCD on number 5, new entry. It's going to be still on the first line, but we're going to put it on position number 12. Okay. Now this one over here, now remember the lines are 0, 1, 2, 3. And so this is going to be line number 3. And we're going to put that, let's see, line number 3, we're going to put that on the left. So that's good. Stays at 0. Okay. Now the middle one, the DAC amps indicator, character LCD, pin number 5, new entry that's going to be on line three still but the position we want it somewhere in the middle so let's say maybe I don't know let's say line number seven or yeah that'll work let's see how that looks and then the last one the AC volts indicator character LCD on pin number five new entry we're gonna do line number three and we're gonna put that one also on line number twelve see if we can line it up with the top one here all right so that's all we got them all in there go ahead and put save overwrite the one we have now and we're done let's go to the simulator here let me bring the camera here too all right so now we come into the simulator here and let me zoom in a little bit on the 
on the display there. Let me get it to focus. There it is. So now we hit uh, reload configuration. It goes through his little recycle thing here. And there we go. So now we got, well, the ones that show nothing here, this one and this one are showing zeros um, over here, as you can see. See this one right here, you see how it's, it's way to the right? So I think I put it on number seven, right? So maybe if I put it on number uh, number five, that would probably be better. Yeah, let's try changing it to number five. So if we go back over to the configurator, and I believe that was the middle one right here. So, oops, hold on. Sometimes it doesn't want to do that. You have to click on it again in order for it to let you. Uh, actually, that was the wrong one. Yeah, so let's change that to a number five and save it once again. Overwrite the existing one. And then we can go back to our simulator and put reload configuration. All right, there it is. Yeah, that looks a little bit better right there. Now this one right here, you can see the 29, it's not lined up with this one here. So if we wanted to, I think that we can also go back and edit the first one so let's go ahead and do this. No, it's actually the third one. So let's do that one. Hit edit. Um, and we're going to put it on position number one. Line three, position one. And save the configuration file again. Now we can go back to our simulator. Reload the configurator. Configuration, I mean. And there it is. Yeah, so that looks a little bit better now that it's lined up right there. Um, I actually like that a lot better. And the 71, huh? it looks like maybe one spot to the right would look better. It would look more centered. Um, the 71 in the middle there. But that's okay. I mean, either way, it still looks um, pretty good. All right, so that's it for this. Um, you see how easy it is to configure something. I, I mean, I can't say it enough. I always say, like, it is so easy to put something together with this uh, software with this plugin that it's it's just freaking amazing how easy it is to do it and you can see that in a couple of seconds i was able to configure those five parameters and even adjust them you know to the positions and everything where they where i think they look better um no problem and you know the best thing of all like i always say uh you'll hear you'll get tired of me saying it is that you don't need any programming necessary you don't need to know nothing, especially for the default airplanes that they already took care of everything. We don't even have to mess with custom commands and data revs, you know, like the Zeebo, you know, they got every single thing on this working. So it, it's even easier that way. But yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to show you guys how easy, how quick it is. And uh, especially for that follower who asked me if I can show how to do that. Well, this is for you. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching once again. Hopefully I'll get the other, um, I think it's like three or four videos that I want to put together, um, record it pretty soon and uh, start putting them out as soon as I have them. All right. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.